welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Shaughnessy, and on this channel, we discuss fragrance, beauty, and wellness. And if you simply like to have a good time and like my vibe, subscribe. So you all, today I have the Victoria's Secret haul where I wanted to review all the fragrances that have been released. There are three new lines plus their pink line, but you know what? We're gonna do a story time right quick. So I placed an order for Victoria's Secret and this was about a month now. And I had all the fragrance mists from all the collections. I got it a great deal. Then I had $25 off and something else. And you know, it said my package was like 30 minutes from my house. So I'm calling, I'm calling USPS. I'm calling Victoria's Secret. Like where, what is up with my package y'all? So I'm told by Victoria's Secret, oh, it'll be here uh, the, the next day, okay? The next day past it didn't come. So I called the post office and they're like, oh, well, it still hasn't been, because it's showing it's been unloaded. My package has been unloaded, but it hasn't been delivered to the people, the, the post office was going to deliver it, which why they use USPS for this big old order I placed in the first place didn't make any sense to me why they did that. Say that we don't have it. You have to call Victoria's Secret. So I'll call Victoria's Secret again. I'm like, okay, my package still didn't come. They're like, okay, it's, it's showing it's going to be, de be delivered Friday. So if it's not delivered Friday, call back. Okay. I call. It's not delivered on, on Friday. So I call back. It's okay. Well, we can, we can just, um, you can either cancel your order or you can, reorder it again and i'm so fed up by then i said you know i'll just cancel it and then i was thinking oh no what if all this stuff is not in the store i'm not gonna get it the same price so i called back i'm like okay i want to keep my order but they had already issued the refund and and something so she's like okay i can put this order on hold. and so, some of the stuff is already sold out too so we can put this order on hold for up to three days call back we'll try it again so i called back again i'm saying okay i'm here to do the order so i get a different person I'm like oh you can only place your order on hold for two hours. I said, what? I was told to call back in three, two to three days to try to do this again. And they said, oh, no, I'm, you know, something we can do. We can, just re, we can just do the order again. That's when I said, no, I am done. You know, I wasn't rude or anything, but this is what I'm thinking. I'm done. I'm just going in the store because I'm sick of this. <laughs> that... that I have never had experience like that with ordering anything in all my life. And I prefer online shopping a lot of the times. And I've never had that happen. So that to, I said all that to say this. That's why this is late. That's why I don't have everything to review. But I'm going to show you what I was able to find. And we're going to talk about it now. You know, when it's old by now, all this stuff. So for the for, uh, pink... I really wanted that, um, I think it was whipped confetti or, you know, I have my phone right here. Hold on. Well, I don't have it set up on pink. I think it was the one that was like cake and caramel and all that. And I really wanted it and it was nowhere to be found. And I only went to one pink store and I was like, you know what? <sighs> so this is what I have now. Pink coconut Coconut Dream and Ice Vanilla. This is one that everybody is hating. And I must say, I had the lotion first in this. And I was like, this is going back. Because I said, this don't smell right. But after I let it dry down for about 15, 20 minutes, I like the way it smelled on the dry down. And I believe this will pair perfectly with that. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, y'all. I'm not feeling great. <clears throat> it will pair perfectly with that... Uh, scent I have from uh, Beyonce Heat Orchid. Yeah, because at first it's kind of, it kind of gives like a weird smell. But once it dries down, it's a very nice coconut vanilla. Kind of, but a fresh scent. So I think it's going to work well, but just spraying it here, no. But I do remember how it dried down on my skin and that's why I picked it up. So I also was excited to get this Vanilla Swirl. I missed out on it last year, I think at the semi-annual sale, and I didn't get it. So I was like, oh, they brought it back. And this time they have the cute little straw inside. 
So I decided to get it. And when I was smelling this stuff yesterday in the store, it was like my nose was getting worn out and I couldn't smell a lot of this stuff. So I might be going back to get more. Yeah, this to me smells like bare vanilla. Maybe a little fresher. But yeah, it smells like bare vanilla. I do like it and I'm glad that I picked it up. The packaging is cute. I did smell Gumdrop the Beat, but it, uh, I don't know if that one would be for me, if I would wear it. When I smell, everything starts smelling alike to me because I had gone to Victoria's Secret trying to smell all this stuff. <laughs> then I had to go to pink because it's separate. And I think I just, I don't know. So that one I might pick up at the SAS sale because I think I'm done with Vicky until then. Yeah, I think I'm done. They're going to have to have some great, spectacular sale that I can't resist for me to place an order online with Victoria's Secret right now. It would, it would just have to blow my mind, be mind-blowing. So, from the Victoria's Secret side, from the Decadent collection, I picked up only one fragrance in that, and that was Love Spell Decadent. Because I smell bare vanilla and it did smell good and I kind of wish I would have gotten it, but I might go back and get that one. I was like, how many vanillas can you have? But I love vanilla, so really, is it is it too many? But I didn't love the green packaging. I didn't love, I don't like green that much. And I smell the pure seduction and you know, pure seduction is not a love for me anyway. And I thought it would be like a deeper, sultrier berry and it just didn't smell like it to me it just smelled like straight up berry so i didn't get that one but like i said i was having issues with my nose so you might see them down the line who knows and i smell the velvet petals and that packaging on that one oh it's gorgeous but it just smelled it didn't smell different enough to my to the original velvet petals to me but i do plan to re-sniff those but the one i did pick up is uh, the Love Spell Decadent, and it is notes of almond blossom, butterscotch pear, a deep, rich take on Love Spell. And you know, Love Spell is not a fragrance that I have loved previously, and but I did like it in the La Creme, because I don't like the original, and I think when I smelled this in store, I liked it. So we're gonna see, did I make a mistake? <clears throat> I like it. It's like a candied, buttery pear. Mmm, with some almond in the background. I can see this going so good with that Illy Saab. Girl of Net. Whoo! I do like that. So I'm coming to realize that I am not a fan of the original love spell but i am loving the i'm taking this ball off in my nerves i am loving the um the love spell in their limited edition lines so i'm glad i picked up this set okay and so that was all from the decadence line so let me see what the other line is called before i talk about it this is the Shine Through Fragrance Collection. So I picked up Glittering Iris. And the notes in this are Sugared Iris, Iced Coconut, Dazzle All Night. And I thought I was gonna love everything from Victoria's Secret because they have been killing it with all their other collections. That's why I'm wondering if it was my nose, y'all. If it was my nose. This is a fresh, powdery, coconut, floral fragrance to me. It's nice. It's nice. It doesn't blow my mind. But I am glad I have it because I love this packaging and I know I will wear it. I love purple and pink. Those are my favorites. And this is the one I was the most excited about from this collection. 
that was scared. Oh my goodness, it's so out of line. I'm not gonna find it in the store. <laughs> this is a blackberry fizz. And the notes in this are blackberry sorbet velvet dahlia shine through. So let's see. This smells like to me now. Yeah, it, it is like a, just a soft, sweet berry fragrance, but it's got like a, like a hint of sexiness to it. I like that. And the other, uh fragrances in this line what was it the vanilla sparkle it was had vanilla frosting sparkling woods light it up that was the notes in this one and i liked it but it kind of reminded me of that fragrance i just got from bath and body works the something woods cashmere woods i think that's what it's called it kind of reminded me of that, but if it's on sale at SAS, I'll probably pick up the vanilla because I love vanilla. And the other one was Champagne something. I don't see it online here. No, there it is. Champagne petals. That smelled too much like Champagne toast to me from Bath and Body Works the day I smelled it because I do, like I said, plan to re-sniff these. And I don't like Champagne toast on my body. I like it in candle, wallflower, room spray, all that, but I don't like it on my body. I don't like the way it smells on me. And maybe because for so many years I just use it as the home fragrance that I don't want to smell like it. So that I passed on, but who knows. So what is this next collection called? Um, hold on, y'all. I don't see the name of this one coming up. The Winter Bliss Collection. So I picked up Winter Sky. That is some beautiful packaging. And the notes in this are Arctic Air, Coconut Ice, All is Calm. Oh, this is nice. Think of that winter candle from Bath and Body Works. That's kind of what this reminds me of, but with like more of a perfume. This smells like a beautiful, fresh, snowy morning. I mean, they named this perfectly with an icy coconut smell to it, which I think I'm about, I have a lot of coconut fragrances, but this is really nice. And this next one I picked up, um, is wonderland woods and i know this one was getting a lot of people not really loving it people weren't sure of it but in the store it smelled fresh and nice so let's see now this is snowy pine winter rose so let's see if i like it now and while i'm doing that i want to pull up the other I do like this. It's you know what? If you want to smell fresh in the winter time, this is perfect. It's a fresh winter green fragrance to me, y'all. If y'all hear noise, I'm so sorry. But that's what it smells like. I wish I could get more of the rose. Maybe when I wear it on my skin, but I do like it. Yeah, I do like this. Layer it with the right perfume. Mm -hmm. So the other fragrance that I didn't pick up, which I kind of wish I did just because it's purple, <laughs> is Moonlight Frost. It was Chill Lily, White Woods, All is Bright. And I don't know if, because it smelled good, but I just remember it smelling like berries. And what was the other one? Wonderland Woods, Winter Sky, Frost. Okay, that's the only, I don't remember the other one, you all, because I, I think it was four in this one. I don't know for sure. But I am glad that I went in store and got some of the collection to talk about with you all. 
From the decadent line, I think I want the bare vanilla. I really want to smell that pink whipped confetti. I think that's what it's called. Um, and I do want to re-sniff everything because, like I said, I feel like um, I'm having allergy problems. I'm trying to get sick. I don't know. So I couldn't smell everything as well as I usually can. So, yeah. I'm, I, I think I'm going to be getting some more, but I do think I'm going to wait to SAS. And if I don't get it, oh, well, life goes on. But I also want to tell you all about the new, uh, well, they're not new, but old favorites that Victoria's Secret has uh, brought back for a limited time. And it's the Strawberries and Champagne Fragrance Mist. I remember smelling that as a teenager and I didn't like it. And I wish they would have had these in store. I don't know if it's going to be online only forever, but I did want to smell smell it again to see because you know your your sense of smell changes all the time. So I wanted to smell that one. Pear Glace. I wore that out. <laughs> I wore that so much as a teenager and in my early twenties that I don't. Do I want it again? I don't know. I just don't want to order online. But it does say it's limited edition classic fragrances. So I don't know. And Mango Temptation, I never smelled that one. So I don't know if that came out before I was into Victoria's Secret, but I would like to try it. And the Melon Sorbet, that just came out during the summer. So I don't know how that's a classic, but okay. Um, I have that one. So the other three I do want to try, but y'all... I don't want to order online, <laughs> but we will see. And I can't believe they didn't bring back Vanilla Lace. Now, I didn't like Vanilla Lace when I smelled it back then, but I'm so curious to see because I didn't really like, I, was, I didn't really like sweet fragrances as much back then as I do now. And I really want to smell it to compare and see if I like it now. And that's the one... Pear Glace is one people have been asking for years for Victoria's Secret to bring back. But Vanilla Lace, I feel like it's even more so. And I can't believe they didn't bring it back. Like, come on, Victoria. What is up with you, Vicky? <laughs> you brought back Pear Glace and Vanilla Lace was at the, the same time. Because I remember smelling it when Pear Glace was in there. Why you didn't bring it back? Are you just, you know, kind of stringing us along? But come on, bring it back. And then one more thing, y'all. I don't know why they chose this packaging they use from the summer for that summer line they did because that packaging is awful i don't like that packaging i don't know why they chose to bring back classics with that packaging oh but on that note <laughs> I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and like the video. Please share this video with anyone you all. Just share, share, share. Please don't turn on your notification bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video. And in the comments, tell me, did you get anything from these uh, three collections from Victoria's Secret and the pink collection? Tell me, do you think I should go back and give some that I didn't get uh, that day another sniff like I plan to am I missing out on stuff y'all tell me in the comments below because I feel like my nose was broken and that I'm, I'm missing some good fragrances that I should have gotten so let me know in the comments below and like I always say if you like my vibe subscribe until next time bye